Oh, if you're looking for a good book to read that's going to keep you riveted till the very last page, well, then you want to pick up a copy of Close to Home. It's the newest thriller by best-selling author Lisa Jackson. This one is the latest in over how many novels? You said 85. Or I don't keep track, 100? but somewhere in you're there. You're just so prolific. You've written that many. I'm just that old. I've written that many. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's wonderful to have you with us today. I had a, a pleasure you. reading Close to Home over the weekend, and it was just so so good. I'm glad to hear that because you're the first one I've gotten back from feedback uh, other than my family and they're a little really? bit. Uh, yes, no one else has read it yet that I know of and has uh, made any comments, not online or anything. Oh, that's so great. Well, this, this is, is hot off the presses and it's one you'll definitely want to hear more about. So tell me the storyline of Close to Home. It kind of evolved. I wanted to write something different. Sometimes as you write as many books as I have, you don't want to be the queen of... Um, uh, serial killers. You don't want to have the, the husband always murdered. You want something different. And this time I thought, well, you know, I'd like to do a ghost story. And I'd like to do it with a mother of single, uh, a single mother of um, children who were maybe not perfect children, because I raised not perfect children. They're great Didn't now. Didn't we all, right? <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but at the time it was really difficult. Right. So it kind of evolved from that way and I wanted to set it in Oregon for a change where I'm from and on the Columbia River which I think is a very fascinating um, place, a very scenic place and also a very creepy place. So it kind of, it was an amalgam of all these things and the story kind of just evolved of it out of itself. Yeah, and there's so many twists and turns. Of course, I always think I have it figured out in, you know, the first couple of chapters. And then at the end, wow. You, it's my job, I think, to lay the groundwork so that people think it's going to be this person or that person. And, you know, it's some people there's think... There's several options. <laughs> yes, right. And it's the obvious choice or the second obvious choice or the third obvious choice. But you want to have, in the types of books I write, the thrillers, the twist at the end. And sometimes that's the hardest thing to pull off. Yeah, I bet it is. Tell me your story. Uh, how, did, how did you get into writing? My sister dragged me into it. She, she suggested we re write romance 33 years ago. And I laughed at her because we were mystery readers. But I went to my regular job, which was babysitting, and I thought... Hmm, not exactly a career path I want to follow. So uh, we'd come up with a storyline the night before at dinner, and by the time she came home, I handed her her child, the diaper bag, and the first seven pages of Stormy Surrender, which never saw the light of day. <laughs> but um, uh, from that point, we got that book got rejected, but uh, she we split up and we kind of challenged the market, and it was a different era then. Everybody, every of the, all the big publishers were coming out with new romance lines. We'd never written romance, and I don't think the first ones were the best we've ever written. <laughs> but over the years, I was able to insert the suspense that I love, and so here we are today. And I'd love to say that my career just soared, but it kind of did this all the That's way. That's okay. You've got a bunch of bestsellers to your name, and I bet this one's going to be that way as well. It's so, so I good. I hope so. You're going to be speaking uh, this weekend, uh, tomorrow, at the Killer Nashville Convention. That sounds fun. It does sound fun. When they invited me, I thought, Killer Nashville, ooh. And, uh, yeah, I'll be there tomorrow. The, the conference runs all weekend, and it should be a lot of fun. Welcome to Nashville. So nice to have you with us. I love the city. I'm oh, glad so to be glad. here. Thank well, you for having me. Glad you're here. Lisa's going to be speaking and signing copies of her book tomorrow morning at 1015 at the Killer Nashville Mystery Writers Convention that's over at the Omni Hotel. Her event is open to the public. If you'd like more information, you can go to KillerNashville.com.